PT-109 is the creation story of America's most admired modern president. It is the story of a life and death series of events that shaped his presidency in critical ways. This is a man who, who loses his boat in a fluke accidental collision with a boat three or four times bigger than his own. He now has 10 men scattered all across the surface of the open ocean in the middle of the night at 2.30 in the morning, swimming in pockets of flaming gasoline with no food, no water, no way of summoning rescue, and with the Americans nearby taking off because they assumed that the boat had blown up and that everybody was dead. So this is about as dangerous a predicament as a young officer can be put into. My book reveals a wide range of new information, new perspectives, new eyewitness accounts of the battle and of the sinking of the ship. And I think in the end it gives us a better appreciation of John Kennedy the president, John Kennedy the man, and John Kennedy the leader. PT-109 was used by John Kennedy as the critical foundation of his running for office. It proved that Kennedy was a war hero who could lead under stress and under fire. One of the most important sources for this book is a man named William Bud Libano. In 1943, he was John Kennedy's tent mate, battle colleague, and he was actually assigned the job of trying to go behind enemy lines and rescue Kennedy and his men. The Jack Kennedy I knew was no different from any PT boat skipper. He was very aware of his crew and he wanted them to be taken care of. I judged him by what his crew thought of him and I never heard a word against him. Thanks to Bud Libano, this book takes you into the battle in a way that I believe is quite extraordinary.